Let's talk about the large format printer located in room 1204. It's often referred to as a plotter, but that's not technically correct. Feel free to research that on your own time. For now, let's just walk through a typical large format print job. A library patron will usually approach the desk and say something like, I need to print a poster, or is this where I go for large format printing? Be sure to greet them and let them know they've come to the right place. It's a good idea to go ahead and ask these two questions. Have you brought your file on a flash drive? And what type of file do you have? We generally prefer that patrons bring their files on a flash drive or other local storage device, but it's okay if a patron wants to retrieve their file from their email instead. Furthermore, we prefer to use PDF files, but other files such as TIFF and PNG are okay as long as they are sized and ready to print. Often patrons will bring PowerPoint files, However, we will almost never print directly out of PowerPoint as it is very unreliable. If a patron brings a PowerPoint file, ask them to convert it to a PDF and come back. If it sounds like the patron is ready to print, invite them back to the large format printing station in 1204. Grab a blank form from the tray on the whiteboard and explain to the patron which fields they are responsible for filling out. The patron must provide their name, the date, their campus ID number, phone number, and email address. They should indicate their desired method of payment and finally sign in the patron's signature blank. While the patron fills out their parts of the form, you can go ahead and pull up their file. Ask for their flash drive and plug it in. You should copy their file to the desktop and then open it. If it's a PDF file, you can open it with Adobe Acrobat Pro. If they brought another acceptable file format such as TIFF or PNG, open it with Photoshop. The first thing to check on is the dimensions of the poster. Even if the patron told you the dimensions, always double check them anyway. In Acrobat Pro, click File and then Properties. Here you can see the dimensions of the file. This is where you should determine the price of the poster. We charge $8 per linear foot. In other words, the price of the poster is however many feet of paper will come off of the roll. Although the roll itself is 42 inches wide, avoid printing anything wider than 41 inches because the large format printer cannot print full bleed. Before calculating the price, it's important to determine which orientation to use. Here's how. If both dimensions are 41 inches or less, print the file oriented landscape. This allows you to use less paper and charge the patron by the shorter dimension. If one of the dimensions is greater than 41 inches, you must print the poster-oriented portrait and charge the patron by the longer dimension. In the rare case that both of the dimensions are greater than 41 inches, the poster is too big for our printer and we cannot proceed unless the patron resizes their file. In this example, the PDF file is 40 inches by 24 inches. Since both dimensions are less than 41 inches, we can orient landscape and charge by the shorter dimension, 24 inches. Calculate the price of the poster by converting 24 inches to feet and then multiplying that by $8. In this example, it comes out to $16. Now that you know the price, you can fill out the rest of the form. Fill in the length, the price, and sign in the Learning Commons staff signature blank. If and only if the patron is paying with a departmental invoice, have them fill out the invoicing box and then proceed to print their poster. However, if the patron is paying with cash, check, credit, or debit card, ignore the invoicing box and instead fill out the bottom of the form and cut it off. Hand the patron the top part and ask them to take it to the circulation desk, pay there, and bring their receipt back to you. When they return, write the invoice number from their receipt in the appropriate field on the bottom piece of the form, which you kept. Now you are ready to print their poster. Click File, then Print. Make sure the correct printer, HP DesignJet, is selected. Notice the preview showing that the default paper size is much smaller than the poster. We need to set a custom paper size. Click Properties. It's easiest to always create a new paper size. Click Custom. First, give the new paper size a name. Second, enter the width. You can always enter the width as 42 inches, since the paper roll is always going to be 42 inches wide anyway. If you enter 42 as the paper width, the poster will be nicely centered on the page when it prints. Third, and most importantly, enter the length. 
The length should always be the dimension by which you charge the patron, plus one extra inch to ensure the printer does not cut off the edge of the poster. In this example, we charge the patron by the 24 inch dimension, so we're entering the paper length as 25 inches. Fourth, click Save. A couple of dialog boxes may come up concerning the dimensions or whether or not to override an existing paper size. That's fine, just click through them. Finally, click OK. Now, make sure to choose the correct orientation, which you determined already. In this example, we need to print landscape. Click OK. Double check the preview. Often, it will still show the default paper size. This is simply a quirk of the print menu. It will usually fix itself if you click properties and then OK again. Make sure page scaling is set to none and that auto rotate and center is checked. Finally, click OK. The job will be processed and sent to the printer. Keep an eye on the printer. Sometimes the computer and the printer don't get along and something will print incorrectly. Also, accidentally choosing the wrong orientation or entering the wrong dimensions are both common mistakes. Try to catch problems early and cancel the print job before you waste a lot of paper and ink. While the poster is printing, you can go ahead and eject the patron's flash drive and give it back. You can also file the completed form in the appropriate tray. If the patron paid with cash, check, or credit card, the stub goes in the cash, check, charge tray. If the patron invoiced, the form goes in the invoice tray. When the poster is done, offer to roll it up and rubber band it for the patron, and make sure they know that they are welcome to use our large format paper cutter just outside room 1204. When the patron is ready to go and no longer needs your assistance, move their file from the desktop to the printed posters folder. Check the printer's screen to determine the remaining length of paper. You should fill out an entry on the plotter printing log with the date, the dimensions of the job, length of remaining paper, your initials, and any relevant notes. And that's it. Large format printing may seem a little intimidating, but you'll get the hang of it. Try to observe an experienced staff member through a couple of large format print jobs and always feel free to ask questions.